Hey there, it's me again. So I didn't move. I just hit the start or the stop and then start button again because I am gonna bring you a what's in my bag of the Carson Mini Hobo here in Lilac Medallion. Thank you to Vera is my bag here on YouTube. Liz got me obsessed with trying, wanting to try the Carson Mini Hobo and she has the same pattern. I love Lilac Medallion. It is a beautiful, beautiful purple, symmetrical, sort of geometrical pattern. So you'll see that the pattern placement that I have here is a little bit off if we're looking at the label there, but the back placement is perfect. And I don't really mind that it's off. I think maybe on a, a really large bag, like a beer tote, I might care. But on something that's so small like this, I don't really mind uh, that the pattern placement is off. But I love this bag. I've been using this bag for just a couple of days and it is already like, I'm already obsessed with it. So I will just give you a tour of the bag and then show you what's inside and what it looks like on the body. So starting with the tour, in terms of outside pockets, this is one of the features that Vera Bradley did with a few of their bag lines. So they did this with the Carson Hobos, both the mini and the large. And then they also did this feature with some of their Hadley bags. And even their recent Glenna Satchel has a pocket that's similar to this. So this is a vertical zip pocket and this is the era of the hard scratchy metal zippers. I did buy this used from Poshmark for like eight bucks and I feel like the zippers, even though they are the scratchy metal ones, they are a little bit better because it's a used bag. So someone before me wore the zippers in. So here is the vertical zipper and the pocket goes through the front and expands. It goes all the way to over here. So just a little bit past the label. Doesn't quite go to the seam here. And this is cell phone. A good place if you want to, to put your cell phone. So my cell phone is the iPhone 11. Just kind of see it in there. And it does fit and zips right up. And it doesn't really add, it adds a little bit of bulk, but not very much. And you'll see that this base is already a really a substantial base anyway. So it doesn't add really any dysfunction at all to the bag. So that is where you can put your phone, you can put your keys, you can put tissues, other things. I have been the past few days using this for my phone, but also sometimes I do find it a little more convenient to just throw my phone on the inside of the bag. This is convenient too, but sometimes if I'm like, I pull in the driveway and I'm carrying a bunch of stuff in and this is sitting over on the passenger seat wide open anyway, I'll just throw my phone in because it's not like I need to quickly access it in the moment anyway. So I'll just throw it on the inside. So that's kind of what I mean by that. So there is no pocket on the other side or on the back. There's the base again. You've got the pleather label on the front and you have adjustable removable strap. It is the solid color, which I do like. Then you have the top opening. You do have the metal zipper. On the inside, you have a nice size zipper pocket on the back. And on the opposite side, you've got two large slip pockets. And the one slip pocket has a charging sleeve in it and a grommet that will loop through to this front pocket if you wanna put your phone in there and then have a charging cable to charge it. I don't use it for that. I just have, whoops, there goes the keys. I have my chapstick and then in the main pocket, I have my lotion. And I also have my pen clipped kind of hard to see with the, the lighting. It's pretty early in the morning, but there you go. You can see that gold item, that's my pen. And then in the other slip pocket, I just have mine and my partner's set of keys in there, like so. Then I have, so in the back zipper pocket, it's all the same stuff that is in all of my what's in my bag videos. So actually you can get a really good look. Feminine products, my uh, wet wipes are back there, vaccine card, um, gum. That white item is a mini deodorant. And then the pink item back there is my pepper spray. So that is all I have. And I think I have a hair scrunchie like at the very bottom. 
Then there are the main items. And you could see that this bag carries a lot for being small. And I don't have very much in here. I have the same stuff that I had in my Kipling Angie that I was using right before this bag, which the Kipling Angie is, it doesn't look like it's big, but it fits a lot. So I had a lot of leftover room in that one. And before I was using the Kipling Angie, I was using the Carson mini shoulder bag in this sister pattern. It, this pattern's called charcoal medallion. So it's the same pattern as this. It's just a gray pattern. This fits a little more than the Carson mini shoulder bag. I think because of its height and its base. So it does fit a little bit more and it's a little, you know, a little wider too. So that's nice. It does taper a little bit, as you can see. It does taper up a little bit there. I really like it. Wait till we try it on. I think it looks really, really good on the body too. So inside of the bag, I do have my sunglasses in this cute kind of neoprene rosewood glasses case. This is when Vera Bradley, and Vera Bradley still does make larger readers, and Rosewood is a little bit, not it's not an old pattern, but you know, it's several years old now. And this is when they had like a little bit of larger pair of readers, and so my sunglasses fit so nicely in here, and it's a nice slim case, which I love. Then I have my Pirouette Pink Tissue Case, so I've got tissues in the front, and then in the back zipper pocket, I have mini pair of scissors, uh, Band-Aids, floss picks, I've got nail clipper and nail file in there. So that is my tissue case in Pirouette Pink. I have my little, try to keep the bag in the frame, I always forget about that. So you can look at the bag too. I have my little hand sanitizer holder. Yes, it can clip to the outside, but I have so much room on the inside that I just threw it inside. I haven't, you know, messed with the ring to clip it on the outside. Then I have this, okay, so this is actually a doggy bag holder that I bought and repurposed as a little pill pouch. I already have like two doggy bag holders for Rocky. And so this is one I just thought was cute and I picked up and I sewed the hole at the bottom. It just took like 10 minutes and it's perfect for my little pill cases and it's great for small bags. And so I have like my uh, Tylenol down here, my Excedrin here, and then my allergy pills up here. So it is absolutely perfect. And just to show you how compact it is, here it is in comparison to the tissue case. And to my hand sanitizer. And to my wallet here, the Zip ID case. So it's very, very small, very small compact pouch, which is exactly what I wanted. Perfect. I love my little travel pill case too. That's a really good size, but this is just a little bit smaller and a little more flexible, which is nice. So perfect. And then this is my wallet. So this is another sister pattern of Lilac Medallion. This is Mahogany Medallion and it released last winter. It was a limited release. There weren't very many things that came out in this pattern. And unfortunately, I don't know this for sure, but I feel like this pattern wasn't as popular as the other medallion patterns that came out. So there was lilac, charcoal, which is the gray one, raspberry, which is the pink one, and then here's mahogany. I love this one. It came out in a Carson mini shoulder bag, which I might get someday. It also came out in a couple of the campus backpacks, I think maybe a triple zip hipster, zip ID, and a few other things, of course, but it wasn't like a, a huge release. So I really knew I wanted to pick up the Zip ID, so I picked this up at my store when it was on sale. And I love the navy. You can see there's like some navy blues in there. It's very pretty. I think it, again, I think it came out maybe winter, but I think it look, it's a great fall pattern too. Any season really. It just reminds me of chocolate as well. So there's the front. I got my little brother and sister's picture in there. But yeah, I decided to... I do have a zip ID and a gen zip ID in this lilac medallion pattern, but I wanted to, you know, just use another cute medallion pattern. So that's my wallet. And then I also have my mask. So that is everything that's in the bag. I still have the pockets and the zipper pocket full, but you can kind of see the bottom there. Lots of space. Look at the interior prints. Very, very lovely. I love, this is a very beautiful interior 
and they actually used this interior print for all the medallion patterns, but it's also the same print that's inside of Mosaic, which is a Dillard's exclusive. It's just a different coloration. I think they used it inside of another, maybe Winterberry. I think Winterberry's is also the same pattern illustration. It's just a green version. Mosaic's is like a red version. And then, you know, charcoal, raspberry, and mahogany. I can actually show you mahogany's here since I have it in front of me. Um, you know, this is like a brown, red, and white, which is so pretty. And then raspberries is like the pink and white, and charcoal medallion is the gray. You know, it has a couple more colors in it, like a light blue and things like that, but yeah. Super cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this back up real quick and then I'll try it on for you. And I'll also give you another look, what it looks like full. And again, it's not even full. There's still a ton of room. Give you another angle there. Okay, so let's zip this bad boy up and put it on the body. Okay, so again, pattern clashing, right? <laughs> I like that. This is why it has the name Carson Mini Hobo because it resumes a hobo type look when you put it on the body. I might go ahead and stand up here so you can get a look closer. But look how small and cute it looks. Here is like a side view. I love the configuration. I think it just looks adorable on the body. And let me tell you, it is so, it's so lightweight. It's a very lightweight bag. And here it is, long shoulder. If you're just draping it over the one shoulder. And let's do short shoulder bag here or at least the shortest that this strap will go so there it is really cute i love this bag again i've been using it for the past few days and it is just extremely adorable so that is my what's in my bag review and try on of the carson mini hobo and lilac medallion this is my first one and I just mostly I got it because I really wanted a bag that would be around the size that I needed for every day in lilac medallion and again I saw it in Vera is my bags video check out her channel it's amazing I'll link her video below where she shows this in her pack with me video and I just fell in love with it so I really wanted to try one so that is my bag thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one bye